That was her? How is it her fault throwing it at the student? Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick, and today I'm reacting to Matilda. So I'm continuing my run of 90s, early 2000s comedies, classic movies. For this one, I really don't know much about it. Matilda is the name of a little girl. I've seen the poster, and I believe it's kind of like, I don't know, a coming-of-age story, a silly story, maybe a little bit of a fable. I'm not sure if there's magic involved or if there's no magic. I really don't don't know much at all about this movie besides it's considered a classic and I'm pretty sure it's a Disney film although I'm not a hundred percent sure but as always if you want to watch along the full unedited reaction that is up on Patreon you can also watch next week's classic comedy reaction for early access thank you so much to everyone who supports there for now let's get into today's reaction This little baby, Matilda, kind of an intense close-up. Everyone is born. Some will grow to be butchers. Some will only be really good at making jello salad. What? Very specific. A human being is unique, for better or for worse. Humans are like snowflakes. Most parents believe their children are the most beautiful creatures ever to grace the planet. That's true. Parental bias. Painful. And expensive. Not Wait, is that Danny DeVito? Danny DeVito's in this? That is him, right? Oh, come on. <laughs> Thanks, seriously, you don't even scrap it. Oh, no wow. Way oh wow, was this a Brandon Rogers video with the poor baby flying around? All right. <laughs> you better skate Lived quick, you're out nice of the way. Oh my gosh, you tried to hit them on purpose? Not really very nice people. You could say that again. They're just leaving Matilda in the car. Had they paid any attention to her at all, they'd have realized she was a rather extraordinary child. Thank goodness, or else how else could she survive? They named her Matilda. eat the spinach. So she kind of named herself drawing there. <laughs> She's totally repulsed by her own baby, Chase. Mother of the Year Award. You better off raising tomatoes. <laughs> Matilda had learned what most people learn in their early 30s. What? Take care of herself. Oh, okay. I mean, that's very impressive. Heck. Her father went to work selling used cars Make money. for unfair prices. That makes sense. Matilda was left alone. Honestly, probably better being alone. Yeah, okay. You're gonna have like a home alone type scenario? She gonna be celebrating? I guarantee she could cook and bake better than I can. Yeah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Reading the newspaper? A book? What do you want a book for? To learn. Read? Why would you want to read when you got the television set sitting right in front of you? That's like that Bill Hicks bit where a waitress comes up to him and, him and is like, what did she reading for? Tilda set off in search of a book. Nice. You can learn so much in a library. <laughs> Poor little kid though, man. She had to grow up so fast. Careful. It's like when the hobbits show up at the Prancing Pony. They're so low. Where are the children's books, please? Please, too. She's polite. Look at that. I'll pick you out one with lots of pictures in it. So I'm sure I can manage. <laughs> that librarian's probably thinking she has great parents. She's so well-spoken and smart. Little do you know. Every day, as soon as her mother went to bingo, Tilda walked the ten blocks to the library. What an amazing habit to get into at such a young age. After another. <laughs> I'd be so proud if I had a daughter who did this, man. When she finished all the children's books, she started wandering around in search of something else. Was she gonna start on Plato, Aristotle? What's next? You could take books home. And you wouldn't have to walk here every day. Don't let your parents see the books, though. They might confiscate it. So Matilda's strong young mind continued to grow like ships onto the sea. I swear my mom used to take me to the library, and we all had library cards, and we would take as many books as possible. It was the most exciting feeling ever, rushing home and getting to read all these new books. Oh, good times. You are not alone. Oh, she needs some friends, though. Library? Never set foot in a library. No, you've never set foot in a library. You're four. Doesn't even know how old she is. Give me that book. Here's Pi. How old is Matilda? Four. <laughs> she doesn't know either. How is this possible? I want to go to school. It's out of the question. Who would be here to sign is for the she packages? she gluing on a wig? What is she doing? Is that how she dyes her hair? A dip face. Oh my gosh. Have another March no Dip face. Dip face. I am wishing so many evil things on the rest of her family right now. <laughs> 
Look at that, she's crying into her book. That like talking dragons and princesses with hair long enough to climb, such people might exist only in storybooks. No, no, you just need to get outside of this house. She wasn't even aware of I'm great! No. I'm incredible! No. Michael! Who is this, Kanye right now? One day you're gonna have to earn your own living. Time you learn the family business. Ripping people off. First car your brilliant father sold cost $320. I sold it for $1,158. Can you imagine being proud of living this type of life? Third cost $68. I sold it for $999. How did you get a used car for $68? What was my profit for the day? $10,265. Nice. You're a little cheat. You saw the paper. Uh, how? Yeah, how? Can you imagine? Was she David Blaine? Harry Wormwood had unintentionally given his daughter the first practical advice she could use. What? Revolutionary idea. That children could punish their parents. Oh, dude, are we going full c Korean revenge story in this movie? Please tell me. Please tell me. I, what is this movie? <laughs> Oh, what is she gonna do? Please get something good. Oh, dang, dang, that's a loud alarm. <coughs> quick, quick, move. Oh. oh, he didn't notice anything. He's way too groggy and sleepy. Oh, what? <laughs> She's like, Isma. Okay, good, good. Quick, quick. Watch out for your evil brother. Which is why I personally take such pride in my appearance. You do? Clean shave, snappy suit. Now run along, get ready for a big day of learning. He takes pride in his appearance? I am surprised. Give me the cookies. Oh, I haven't had waffles for breakfast in years. I miss that. Today we diddle the customer. What's wrong with you? What are you looking at? <laughs> my heartstrings. <laughs> <laughs> my hair? Are they gonna know it's her though? Don't laugh too obviously. Never stay secret for long, especially when the FBI gets involved. That is a massive lens. Why is the FBI involved in watching a car salesman though? Suspect exits domicile. I've got 918. Ooh, whose watch is correct? 917 is correct. <laughs> I'm Wormwood. What a fitting name for this dude, honestly. One day all this will be yours. Is not exactly the succession inheritance. We really should weld these bumpers on, but that takes time, equipment, money, and decency, morals. Waterfall off? Definitely. Isn't that dangerous? Yes. Daddy, that's cheating. Of course it's cheating. Nobody ever got rich being honest. Uh, plenty of people, actually. Two directional drill. Run it backwards, the numbers go down. This is actually kind of a common scam, right? I've heard of this, but I don't think cars nowadays. Daddy, you're a crook. What? This is illegal. Honestly, I think he's more evil than the penguin. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong. <laughs> Nothing you can do about oh, it. Could you imagine speaking this way to your little kid daughter? Like, <laughs> Whoa. I'm smart, you're dumb. I won! I won! I what, bingo? I hope they let you in. They'll let me in. There's his hat. Get in the car. Did she super glue it? Is that why she was looking at the super glue? Because that would be a pretty great one. Uh, yep. Yep. Nice move. Nice move. I can't take it off. Harry, nobody cares what your hair looks like. I pull it. Pull it. Oh, it's gotta hurt. Just a minute. I'm gonna get this pull hat pull off. I'm pulling it! I mean, she's making such a scene. <laughs> Up really bad. Your head could not swell up that much. Five is a fuse. What is that ow, supposed ow, to mean? Ow, ow, Give me that. She just won't let it go, man. Oh yeah, they're definitely coming back here. Oh, this is great. This is great. Holy nice job, waiter. Okay, Matilda. Okay, how did you pull that off? The force is strong in this one. I want respect and I want it now. Oh. That looks so dangerous doing that with the scissors. Oh my god. <laughs> She's just laughing at him. <laughs> we are eating dinner and watching TV. Like every night, right? They'll move one step closer to our Once in our what, he can't leave poor Matilda alone and let her read? Are you in this family? Not by choice. Dinner time is family time. It's not trash, Daddy. It's love called Moby Dick by Herman Mel. <laughs> She's reading Moby Dick. Dang, not an easy read. Sit up and look at the TV. Oh my god. This is like the complete opposite problem most parents have. Most of them, it's like you're glued to your phone. No, they're forcing her to stare at a screen. <laughs> 
I mean, this is such trash TV. That was her? Oh my god, is this movie gonna go full carry over here? Please tell me. Of course she didn't do it, little twit. That's legit, she seriously has superpowers. Was it magic or coincidence? It was definitely not a coincidence. Humans use only a tiny portion of our brain. That's not true. It's a small percentage all at once, but nitpicking here. Agatha Trunchbull, principal, Cruncham Hall Elementary School. <laughs> She's so much taller than him. Use the rod, beat the child. That's my motto. Oh, it sounds like they should be friends. Yeah, I got a boy, Mikey, and one mistake, Matilda. They're all mistakes, children. <laughs> okay, she sounds like Snyder. I kind of want to see this lady. Going to school. I am? First thing tomorrow. She's so excited, man. Let's see it. Let's see it. Building and children. Looks, uh... She was happy to be there. I mean, that's cool. Her attitude is good, you know, very positive. <laughs> the kids scream. What kind of socks are those, man? <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. This is intense. <laughs> you, detention. Detention for what? You're too small. Grow up quicker. Grow up quicker, like they can control it. The Trunchbull likes to snap a whip in there to see who's trying to hide. Oh, dang, dang. Nice Tr heads up. Hi. Hi. She doesn't really hit children with that one. I bet she does. No, it's mostly for scare. Oh, okay. What she does is worse. What? Julius Rautwinkle ate two M&M's. And she caught him? Of course. I mean, he was doing it right in front of her. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> After being thrown out the window? Of course he wasn't okay. He lived. That's like a Marcellus Wallace punishment, jeez. You have to stand in a drippy pipe with jagged edges and the walls of broken glass and nails sticking. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so insane. Didn't you tell your parents? They didn't believe me. I mean, would your parents believe it? They wouldn't care. Here she comes. Dang, she looks terrifying. Hanging down by your ear. You mean my pigtail? Are you a pig, Amanda? Excuse me? My mommy thinks they're sweet. Your mommy is a twit. I was thought she was going to say something else. Did you say butt? Hammer throw. What? Definitely. Use the force. You butt. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> what? What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, that is impressive. <laughs> Holy, that was a close call. She's still going. She's still going. Okay, she's smiling. That kind of turned out okay. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. Run, run, run. Faster. Get in. Can you imagine going to the school for real, man? This movie is just wild, let me just say. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, Amanda. Okay, listen up, everyone. Well, the teacher seems totally nice. It's just the principal. Teacher and a friend to everyone. But her life was not as simple and beautiful as it seemed. Miss Honey had a deep, dark secret. What? She did not let it interfere with her teaching. What, did she lose someone maybe close to her? We've been working on our two times tables. Would anyone like to demonstrate? <gasps> you can tell all the students love her. 13 times 379. 4,927. <laughs> Okay, Miss Goodwill Hunting over here. 13 times 379, 4927. You've got a child prodigy right here. Come on, Miss Honey must know. Get her the advanced courses ASAP. It is. Wow. <laughs> Good reaction. Do you know how to multiply big numbers? I read this book last year in mathematics. I have never willingly read a mathematics book. What do you like to read? Everything. That's so cool. I'll be back in a moment. Hey, what is she gonna do? Yes, come here. Do I want to know what's going on in there? Oh my gosh. Good to see you, Jen. Good, good, good. <laughs> She's throwing it at the students. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's amazing. She's amazing. Come on. She can multiply large sums in her head. So can a calculator. Well, <laughs> you can't handle the little viper, so you're trying to foist her off on one of the other teachers. Uh, no. You'll see that everything I do is for your own putrescent little children. 
I don't think a million years of therapy would be enough. I mean, she's amazingly over the top. I don't know who the actress is playing Trenchwood, but props to her. She's horrifying. Well done, FBI. Well done. Look, I love that. Quiet. He doesn't care at all. The baby wasn't his. Well, it was really great. Poor Matilda. The principal is insane. She life too if you wax yours. I'm positive. I was the most wonderful teacher. She needs new parents. Can she be adopted by the teacher or something? He's on the ropes, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Saved by the bell. Packages at this hour? No, who's there? Who's visiting their place? We don't give money. We don't like charities. We don't buy raffles. <laughs> I'm Matilda's teacher. She's your problem now. There is no problem. Then beat it. We're watching TV. Can you imagine me this rude, man? Watching some rotten TV show is more important than your daughter. Then maybe you shouldn't be a parent. True. That darn thing often listen to me. <sighs> what was that sound? Come on, get this over with. Mrs. Wormwood's not gonna like this. I'm actually surprised. I'm surprised he didn't slam the door in her face. Some teacher says she's gotta talk to you about Matilda. <laughs> is he wearing a giant bib? I didn't even notice that. Extraordinary. She's reading material that I... Want one? No. No, thank you, dear. M M T just spills it everywhere. Take a look at you and me. You chose books. I chose looks. You chose looks? A wonderful Massive husband. Fail. And you <laughs> You want Matilda to go to college? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great laugh. Selling a faulty car. A lawyer who defended you would have gone to college. Sued by who? Who you been talking to? <laughs> Sounds like someone has a guilty conscience. We're not going to agree, are we? <laughs> no. Sorry I burst in on you like this. She's so, like, in control and polite, even with these people. Why'd you stand in the middle of the ring? I've read that one, The Wind in the Willows. <laughs> missed it? Wait. That's really cool. They can have, like, a secret friendship. What a camera move. Bog Trotter. Who? Oh, dang. Would little Brucey come up here, please? The camera is, gets uncomfortably close to her face. He lives on my block. He lived. Maybe the past tense is appropriate right now. You're a disgusting criminal, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> my personal snack! <laughs> Do you deny it? Did he actually? Well, it's hard for me to remember a specific case. This one was my mom's is better. <laughs> Sit down, Bob. You gonna force him to eat more cake or something? I do not want that woman handling a knife, man. Eat it! I don't want any. Thank you. She's honestly a lot like the drill instructor from... Eat it! What's wrong with it? Cake is poison. Something's up. Yeah, something is definitely up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be something gross, isn't it? Why does he have to eat it like that? Mm. He's like that one kid from Willy Wonka or something, a little bit. You must have some more, but you'll hurt Cook's feeling. Oh, is she gonna make him eat so much until he gets sick? She made this cake just for you to have on your very own. That is so much sugar. That's so much. This cake, Ugh. and you will not confect your entire confection. Thank you, Cookie. Ugh. Oh, what is she doing? Now, eat it! What? Come on, they need to just rebel. Take over. Take over. She can't fight you all off. Mm. Oh, the poor kid is gonna get so sick. Why does he have to eat it like that, too? It makes it even worse. Don't throw up, please. Don't throw up. I don't want to see that. Mom, Matilda, use the force. Help him. Oh, he's going to puke. Oh, please don't. I can't look. Yeah, I'm just like her. <laughs> you can do it, Brucey! Oh, dang, dang. It's like a Spartacus moment or something. You can do it! Here we go. Go, Bruce! Look at this solidarity from the student body. <laughs> Silence! Take that, Nazi lady. Oh, that's savage. Licking the plate. Licking the plate? Wow. Guess that punishment backfired on you. Jeez. The entire assembly will stay five hours after school. Five, five hours? We'll go straight into the chokey 
together! I mean, how can all the parents not know what's going on at the school? Kodar's official way of saying we've caught a bad one. Do they do anything besides sit in their car and eat? Young lady, where were you? I'm surprised he noticed she was late. It's car parts, sweetness. It's business. Oh, if it's business. What the heck are they eating? Marshmallows on a stick? They're parked outside right now. You are such an ignoramus. There was a speedboat salesman. Really nice guy. Oh my gosh. They are not cops. They are not. I don't know if there's cops watching my house. Now go to bed, you lying little earwig. You'd think he'd be a little more paranoid, honestly. And the trench bull terrorizing her school. It was a rare and happy moment when Matilda could just play with her friend. I know, right? <laughs> Finally. Something good in her life. This is lavender. A bug! <laughs> She's so excited. Don't you keep going, you flaming car! <laughs> she has so much anger inside her. You're heading for the turkey, young lady. You're not even. How is it her fault what her dad does? I like my son. You're a spitting image. Absolutely not in any way. Rocks far from the tree. <laughs> Trunchbull teaches our class today, Lavender. Please get a water pitcher. Oh, how is she taking over? Make sure the water's cold, Lavender. Freddy, cover the fish. Put away anything colorful. <laughs> of course she hates colors, too. Once in a while, they just jump out at you. Oh, good. Way to go. Good improv, Lavender. Shoo. No laughing, no whispering, no gum trimming, no late homework, no running, no pigtails. Oh, how many no's? My idea of a perfect school is one in which there are no children. <laughs> she would love Sunnydale. She would love the death rates there. Are you okay? Oh, poor Matilda. This could be the most interesting thing you've ever done. What? Just drops the kid? Yes, drink a lot. Oh no, oh no. This is L-T-Y. Why are all these women married? Miss what? E, Mrs. I, you're supposed to be teaching spelling, not poetry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just drink. I think they do it deliberately. Just to annoy me. I'm surprised you would like adults either, honestly. <laughs> What's funny? I'll spit it out. I like a joke as well as the next. You do not. You do not. Imagine her at a comedy club. She'd be heckling. <laughs> it's a snake. It's a snake. <laughs> One of you tried to poison me. Who? Matilda. That's not. She had her hand up way before you asked that. I just thought you'd like to know it's not a snake. It's a newt. <laughs> you villainous sack of goat slime. You. <laughs> I'm telling you, I didn't do it. I'm gonna punish you because I'm big and you're small. <laughs> you're wrong, and there's nothing. It's too much. You're the most corrupt lowlifes in the history of civilization. <laughs> I'm never wrong in this classroom. Yes, shatter the glass. I am God! <laughs> Hopefully, she doesn't kill the poor Newt, though. <laughs> Get away, get away, escape. Thanks for not telling. Best friends don't tell. Yeah. She could really dance <laughs> Sonny, I did it. Did what? I have special power. Can she do it on command? Command, Miller, devote class, devote. It's all right, Matilda. Oh, dang. She needs, she needs Master Yoda in her life Sonny, to fine tune this. Sometimes you can do something until you want to show someone, and then you can't. That is true, especially if you take a car in to get repaired. Would you like to come over to my house this afternoon? I'd like that very much, Miss Honey. It's gotta be a lot better than staying at home. Infinitely better. I believe that you should believe in whatever power you think you have inside. Believe it with all your heart. That's a great response. Miss Trunchbull lives. She's got a big house. Why is there a swing? Yeah. A girl I know used to live in that house. Her life was good and happy. It was happy. The girl's aunt was a mean person who treated the girl very badly. She's talking about herself. When the girl was five, her father died. How did her father die? The police decided he'd killed himself. Uh, Why would he do such a thing? No one knows. It's so dark. The end is happier. I think she was the little girl, right? I feel like that's gonna be what they're gonna reveal later. Do you know why I told you this? No. You were born into a family that doesn't always appreciate you. But one day, things are going to be very different. Should we go inside and have tea and cookies? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, this is a beautiful home. The young woman is you. Yep. You're very brave, Miss Honey. Yeah. Not as brave as you. I thought grown-ups weren't afraid of anything. 
That's not true. <laughs> yeah. All grown-ups get scared, just like children. Yep. I wonder what Miss Trenchable was afraid of. Probably a lot of things. Probably so insecure and has so many issues. Good luck to the therapist trying to diagnose her. Shot put. Hammer throw. Javelin. <laughs> Got an amazing collection of weapons, man. Don't hurt the cat. She's scared of cats? She's scared of cats? Black cats. She's very superstitious. Oh, this is pretty good. She tries to bark. <laughs> oh. That cat is lucky it's not worse off. That's good though. We have her kryptonite. It's cats. Black cats. Let's go get your treasure. No, Matilda. Well, she's gone. What if she has security cameras? Probably not, right? God, butter. Oh, oh dang, is she gonna come back home because the car broke down? What a big home, holy. Trunchable does not deserve this space. Oh my. What? My father's portrait. <laughs> Whoever painted the Trunchable must have had a strong stomach. <laughs> really strong stomach. That's an amazing photo, man. <laughs> I mean, she is insanely strong. she take a chocolate, bring it to her lips, and say, Much too good for children. <laughs> of course she would say that. Where's Lissy doll? Upstairs. I mean, she's gonna notice we didn't even close the lid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang, oh, dang. That's my dad. I used to call him King Magnus. I don't think Magnus killed himself. Did he get murdered by Trunchable? Oh my gosh, how dark does this get? Hopefully not like Annabelle, right? One what? You! You must use car salesman scum! I want you around here now! Get out, do not get caught here. Shove it up, you bazooka! When I finish with you, you're gonna look like roadkill! <laughs> Honestly, I hope she goes after Danny DeVito. Uh, I told you, I told you, how could you be so sloppy? Jump out the window. There's no way you're getting out the front door. She can tell who it is. Run, she's right there. Go to the end of the hall, and down the stairs, and out the kitchen door. I'll distract her. How will you distract her? Right, this movie is kind of terrifying in its own way. Come on, fight like a man! It's like the cave troll coming up to Frodo. Quietly, quietly, don't make a sound. That's good, that was a nice move. Oh dang, everything. <laughs> it's like breaks. Find a window. Whole house breaks. Where'd she go? She in one of the cap? Watch out, she's gonna start sniffing or something. Is she under the table? No, she's, oh she is, dang. You gotta move, you gotta move, get out, get out, get out. How'd she get out? Oh wow, wow. She's gonna start shoving. Uh, how much cake does she eat on a daily basis? <laughs> oh, she really? Okay, good, quick, quick, quick. You made so much noise, you need to get out now. If you get caught here, you are done. Die today! He's scarier than Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Oh, they got out! They got out! Yeah. Hopefully she can't smell you. No! Oh it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Get far away. You've never been your whole life. Okay, good. She shouldn't be allowed to treat people like that. <laughs> I mean, she's just next level super villain, okay? Promise me you will never go back in that house again. I promise. Yeah, honestly, they barely escape with their lives. That was a very close call. Get the hell out of here! I slave all day, I come home, you're entertaining a couple of surfer dude bodybuilders. Surfer dude bodybuilders? That's what they look like to you? Without having to wade through a convention of male strippers! 
Dad, yell at me, okay? Shut up and leave us alone! Oh, does she have to get upset or something? You never heard in your life! My word is my law! You That's the secret. That's the secret to her power. She just has to get triggered. Some adult needs to be screaming at her. That shouldn't be hard at her school. You're a worm when it's time you started acting! Oh, good. So she doesn't have to literally be yelled at either. She can just remember it. This is perfect. I mean, what an amazing ad for Cheerios. Are they a sponsor for this movie? <laughs> that is so legit, man. How do they film this exactly? This looks pretty cool. Shouldn't we have a search warrant to do this? We show this tape in court. Wormwood's well, goose is cool. Delphi's dirty. You don't need a search warrant. Is that how it works? <clears throat> it's my turn. Yeah. You're... <laughs> Just do this nonstop. They'll never notice you're standing in the background. According to a constitutional law book I read in the library, if you don't have one, you could lose your job or even go to federal prison. True. It's your father who's going to federal prison. If you cooperate, we'll make sure it's a nice orphanage. Yeah, right. Teeny weeny cockroach. Don't trust them unless you get a signed deal. Oh, good, good. I mean, it is amazing having these powers. Can you imagine having these powers as a kid? Now Matilda had bigger fish to fry. I mean, she can take on the principal now. Ooh, she pulled a Neo on you, bro. <laughs> Honestly, he got off easy. Having power isn't nearly as important as what you choose to do with it. Yeah, great power, great responsibility. Nothing short of heroic. She promised not to go back in here. <laughs> She's sharpening weapons. Of course, it's what she does late at night. Don't underestimate Trenchable, though. She's nuts and super strong. Oh, she's not going to have to go in the house to get all the stuff back. So she is staying true to her word. I mean, if uh, Trenchable is superstitious, you could move stuff around and scare her, too. Oh, dang. Is the force stronger than the wind? Okay, got her. Oh, no, there's evidence left behind. Oh, she's going to know who it is. Oh dang, it's a little bit loud. Will she notice the stolen candy? <laughs> a classic, but a good one. Okay, she's gonna start to get scared now. It's like a horror movie. Oh, not her amazing portrait. In the fire. Oh, what a work of art, gone. <laughs> oh, that's what she's playing with the picture. Nice. If that's not a message from the other side, I don't know what is. Midnight. There's some black cats. That's all we need for the final touch. Of course, the wind has to blow it right in front of her. That's bad luck. All right, we're going to have a showdown at school. Hide it, hide it. Don't let her see. Sleep well, Trenchable? How'd you sleep? Any good dreams? In the time it took Miss Honey to get very, very nervous, Matilda had formulated a plan. Does she need much of a plan with how much power she has? I feel like she's got this. Calm down, Miss Honey. Real. It's going to be okay. I think it will be. I promised you wouldn't go back in that house again. She didn't. I didn't. She didn't, yeah. I was on the garage roof. I did it with my power. All right, I need to think. Show her. Show her your powers. Prove it now. <laughs> Lift up the whole desk. Lift her up. Powers. Mm -hmm. This is what happens when you need read enough books, kids. You get powers just like this. This is why you should go to the library. <laughs> No more, Miss Nice Girl. <laughs> run, run, run. Get against the wall, against that wall! <laughs> She's just gonna hold it up. Hold the newt! Join the ranks! If you are having fun, you are not learning. <laughs> A lesson! Oh, what an amazing, horrible motto. Sometimes in life. A lesson in self-control. These things are a test of character. And I have character. You have character. That's true. A unique character. A child came to my house. Mr. Trenchable, may I? No, you may not. I know a child came. 
And I know which child. Did you know it was illegal to enter someone's home? Are we going to talk about illegal when you literally chuck children hundreds of feet? Are we really going by the law? Hair ribbon yesterday. And isn't wearing one today. Can you answer me that? What is that voice? Is that her baby voice? Ribbon belong to! <laughs> I personally see to it. The demented, drooling, slime-breathed little Lilliputian who owns the- Little Lilliputian? What is that word? I like that word. I was the one who was at your house last night. I know I- <laughs> I don't- I broke your arm once before. Oh my gosh. I believe I not that story. You. Place where not even the crows can land their droppings on you. That's pretty dark line. Oh, nice, nice. Way to set the mood. It's Agatha. Nice. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, that would be pretty horrifying. <laughs> this has got to be the most cathartic thing for these poor children after how long under her abuse. <laughs> what a landing, what a landing. But do we want her to get out of town? What if she starts teaching some other poor kids somewhere else? Is that it? Oh, of course, of course, she's still awake. Oh, dang! <laughs> he turned to Peter Pan, look at this! <laughs> it must be so dizzy after all that, right? Stoffer! Oh, nice! Or that! Or that! Guess all the students should witness this. I didn't know I could do that. Well, it wasn't you, but... <laughs> it's like running the gauntlet. Oh, he got his revenge with chocolate cake. Nice. Can that car even run? Can she escape or is she stuck? And the Trunchbull was gone. The Trunchable. Never to darken a doorway again. Okay, good. She never taught anyone else or ran a school, I hope. Oh, what are her parents doing here? You don't belong here. I'd be happy to walk her home. Nobody will be there. We're moving to Guam. Let's go. Guam. Don't go with uh, Matilda. We're going on a permanent vacation. Get in the car, Melinda. Melinda. <laughs> He doesn't even know her name. That's amazing. Oh, she's a spectacularly wonderful child, and I love her. Adopt me, Miss Honey. Yes, that's what I was saying all along. One second, Dad. I have the adoption paper. Of course, she has it all ready for you. I found a book in the library. I've had him since I was big enough to Xerox. <laughs> I, I, I can't think with all these sirens. What do you think, Pumpkin? I mean, they don't love her. Why would they want to keep her? Jealousy. The only daughter I ever had, Matilda. You know, I never understood you. Not one little bit. Did you ever love her, though? The Wormwood yeah. signed the adoption uh, paper. Okay. I wonder if they escaped or they got caught by the police. You're not going to be calling us for support, babe. Oh, my gosh. No, no. Ciao. Goodbye. You won't be missed. That's how good they became. Oh, Miss Honey was made principal of Crunch and Oh, perfect. Perfect promotion. And Matilda found, to her great surprise, that life would be fun. <laughs> Matilda and Miss Honey each got what they had always wanted. A family. A loving family. Yep. Matilda never had to use her powers again. Really? Never? I mean, almost never. Okay, I was gonna say, it's just so convenient and useful. I've been using those powers every single day. Never mind how long, precisely, having little or no money in my purse. It was directed by Danny DeVito, no way, no way. Dang, I didn't even know he directed anything. Well done, man. All right, so that is Matilda. That movie was not exactly what I expected. I mean, you know, like I said, I was kind of expecting more of like a fun coming of age story, a cute story about a little girl growing up. And it was that, it definitely had that going for it, but it was, it had much more of like a Willy Wonka-esque vibe to it. I guess that's kind of a way I would like to describe the tone of the movie. And 
I like that. I really enjoyed it. I mean, there was definitely a detachment from reality. We had, you know, extreme over the top characters, whether it was her parents and just how inconsiderate and rude and horrible they were, her horrible brother. But the MVP of horribleness was Trunchable. And I really, I thought she was an amazing antagonist of this movie. I mean, very fitting for like this over the top, terrifying figure who, of course, is kind of an exaggerated version, which as a child, you kind of see adult figures as exaggerated, monstrous characters. So it feels very appropriate for a children's story to have a principal who is that over the top evil. But man, the actress playing her absolutely sold that role. And it also seemed like she was really just having a fun time playing the just extreme pure nightmare insanity that was the character of Trunchable. I mean, she was just so much fun every second that she was on screen. It was great seeing her with her just pure evil, pure hatred of children. And then it was, of course, satisfying to see her get her ultimate comeuppance in the end. But Matilda herself was just a great character. You know, it was it was cool seeing her um, strong spirit, despite the fact that she had so many obstacles kind of growing up. Like, can you imagine? I mean, it really set the tone from the opening scene where they're just like taking the baby home and it's just bouncing around in the backseat of the car. I mean, that really sums it up right there. But just seeing how absolutely her parents had no interest in her no love for her and on top of that like not only did they not understand her but they you know belittled her and especially her father it seemed like maybe out of some insecurity was upset when she was doing things other than what the rest of the family was doing like how dare you read while we're eating trash food and stuffing our faces and watching tv you need to be partaking in these activities with us as well but I just like how Matilda as a character you know she was so resilient and self-sufficient and she didn't let the hardships of her life get her down and to see a little kid have that much passion for learning for reading just so much joy about life despite her hard circumstances and upbringing was just an awesome thing to see and the twist you know of her having these these powers to move things channeling the anger of you know adults or unfair parents I mean, I feel like that kind of plays into, I'm sure, a lot of children's fantasies. How many children who have, you know, unfair parental figures in their life or just people being mean and nasty to them in general wish they could just like lift them up and spin them around and, you know, just do silly, crazy, ridiculous things. So I feel like this movie kind of leaned into that childish fantasy, but also obviously kind of had some parallels about the power of education and of learning and the ability to make friendships. And on top of that, as we saw at the end of the movie, when she was able to not only <laughs> defeat the evil Trenchable, but also escape kind of her family and outgrow them. And obviously there's the extreme elements that are literally happening in the movie, but you can definitely take it as uh, symbolic for things that you can do in your real life. You know, you could come from a tough upbringing or maybe have friends who are bringing you down, things like that. But through hard work and education and making connections with people who do care about your future, you can have a much better, a very different life. I will say there are a few elements of the story that were pretty dark, and I really, really like that. I mean, I've said this probably so many times in reaction videos, especially to movies geared towards children, but I just love when a story is not afraid to have elements that are kind of scary. You know, it just reminds me of like old school fairy tales or old school Disney movies where there are some seriously dark, nightmarish elements. And I don't think it was anything that you wouldn't want to show your kids. Like it wasn't too horrifying or scarring in any way. It was all kind of in, uh, ridiculous in tone. So I think anyone could show even a young child this movie. But you know, just things like chucking children and having a torture chamber room or even the fact that Trenchable murdered Miss Honey's father. I mean, that's pretty dark and just things I don't know if they would show in a kid's movie today that I really appreciate and think kids absolutely can handle. But that's just my opinion. I'm not a parent. Maybe you have a different opinion. I'd love to hear that in the comments down below. And I'd also love to know, like, when you watch this movie, were you like me? Did you not realize what this movie was exactly about? Like how over the top it was and how it had that kind of supernatural element? Did you just go in thinking like, oh, this is a story about a smart girl or a girl who's growing up? You know, I'd love to know like what you knew before you watched this movie for the first time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. As always, the full unedited reaction is up on Patreon if you care to support the channel. Thank you so much to everyone who does. And feel free to leave suggestions as always for other classic 90s, early 2000s comedies that I've been checking out a bunch if you have any recommendations i do about one per week here on the channel if you do care to subscribe that would be a big help thank you for watching and as always remember be active be mindful and be a hero.